At some point an Ood, later named Nephew, had been transported by a time rift to a bubble universe, where he was severely injured from the journey. He was repaired and taken control of by House to use as a medium to drain another soul and mind for his plans to remove TARDIS matrixes. Unlike Auntie and Uncle, Nephew was brought along by House when it took over the Doctor's TARDIS, using him to try and kill Amy and Rory. Nephew was destroyed when the Eleventh Doctor and Idris landed the junk TARDIS on him, ripping him apart at the atomic level. The Doctor lamented briefly that Nephew was yet another Ood that he had failed to save. TV the Doctor's wife, at least one Ood was abducted and sent to face its fear in the Minotaur's prison ship. TV, the God Complex, at one point, Albert Einstein was brought to the TARDIS and was accidentally turned into an Ood by his experimental liquid. However, the Eleventh Doctor was able to reverse this, but the chemical itself gained sentience. TV, death is the only answer, the Eleventh Doctor rescued an Ood from the Androvax conflict, with the intent of returning him to the Ood sphere, but the Ood at one point escaped from the TARDIS and took refuge in the home of Amy and Rory. For the next month or so, the Ood insisted on acting as the couple's butler until the Doctor was able to retrieve him. W.C. Pond Life Ood were used as the prison wardens of Valderon after the telepathic criminal influenced her sentences, knowing she could telepathically influence the Ood to aid her eventual escape. Valderon escaped after Jenny and Noah's arrival in her cell and the Ood followed her to Waltham Abbey in the 21st century, taking over humans to aid their search. Jenny eventually exposed Valderon, enabling the Ood to depart with their prisoner. Audio. Prisoner of the Ood. The Ood of the Ood Sphere had a trade agreement with the Sensorites. When Susan Foreman visited the Sense Sphere during the last Great Time War, the First Elder was away negotiating at the Ood Sphere. Audio. Sphere of Influence, several Ood worked in the Claims Department of Psychic Paper Inc. Comic. Psychic Paper Inc. Claims Department, the Eleventh Doctor once had multiple Ood on his TARDIS. When the Ood received upgrades to their communicators, which the Doctor described as, all the rage, they stopped serving the Doctor, Amy, and Rory and began playing, bird-throwing games, and trolling the Doctor on Twitter about his Eleventh Incarnation not being as good as his Tenth. Comic. An Ood thing to say. The Twelfth Doctor dressed an Ood in a Clara Oswald costume for Clara's surprise birthday party on board the Doctor's TARDIS. Comic. The partying of the ways. An Ood was at Florana when Amy, Rory, and the Eleventh Doctor went there for a summer holiday. Comic. Summer holiday. An Ood was present in the Maldovarium when Colony Saf visited the establishment while searching for the Twelfth Doctor on behalf of Davros. TV. The Magician's Apprentice. An Ood whom the Doctor named, Bonnie, was imprisoned in the Judoon's maximum security facility along with the 13th Doctor. Bonnie shared a cell with a Psycharax, aptly named Clyde. One morning when she greeted them, the two merely growled at the Doctor in reply. TV. Revolution of the Daleks, an Ood owned by the Division, who served Tekchin, showed the state of Universe 1 Influen ACD by the Flux to the Doctor. TV. Survivors of the Flux, during the second Flux event, once the Doctor had successfully lured Swarm and Azure away, the Ood did the best that he could to minimize the flux at the Doctor's request, giving the Doctor and her friends a better chance of stopping it. TV. The Vanquishers.